What's up guys? Welcome to another video. We're starting the holiday cheer off with a great gift idea and we're going to have a series of videos that are going to be the top tech gifts for this 2017 holiday season, okay? And we're going to fire this series off with a really cool gift, especially if your gifty is a coffee drinker or a tea drinker uh, because this is going to be right down their alley and this is really cool. Uh, you can get this at uh, Starbucks or online. I'll have a link in the show notes where you can uh, pick this up via their website. Uh, again, it's going to be hit and miss if you walk into a Starbucks store near you uh, if they're going to have this. Now, they also do have a travel mug uh, companion. This is more for the desk, uh, for home, office, whatever. Uh, so you, this is the ceramic uh, temperature controlled mug from Ember. Uh, and again, they do have, like I said, a travel version, which is, you know, a typical, you know, one of those tall insulated black uh, ones that uh, you can control the temperature with that, too. So let's go ahead and take a quick look at this. Uh, again, this is the white ceramic mug from Ember. In Ember. Say that. Uh, okay. Temperature control ceramic mug. And then back here, you can see pour, adjust, enjoy, coffee, cocoa, tea. I, I didn't say cocoa, but there you go. Uh, and then it says a few degrees can make a big difference in taste. Ember lets you control the exact temperature of your favorite hot beverage, creating the perfect drinking experience. Now, I like to brew coffee and take it to work in a thermos. And when I pour it into my, my ceramic mug at work, uh, it doesn't take very long and it's already getting cold and I'm kind of like, Pah! you know, and I get interruptions. Uh, so I have to go like nuke it. And I don't really like nuking coffee, but you know, I actually buy expensive beans, ground them up, it's direct trade. Uh, and um, so this is actually like, this is, you know, if you got people like that, this is perfect for them. Your new favorite mug, this is what it says. Taste, temperature, time. Uh, taste, enhance the flavor of your coffee or tea by choosing the temperature that tastes best to you. Like green teas, you know, there's certain temperatures that green teas need to be, the, the be like perfect. Um, you know, and coffee. And some people don't like their coffee too hot. So you can keep it at like that temperature that's just right for your, your, mouth and your tongue. Uh, so let's go ahead and pop this guy open. There is an app for iOS and Android. Uh, so you will control it with your smartphone. Uh, let's go ahead and peel this off. Let's see if we got another one. Yes, we do. Not quite as easy to peel. They don't have that little pull tab in this one. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look at this guy. And again, this is supposedly ceramic. There we go. Very nice packaging. There it is. There's where all the magic happens down there. Very nice packaging. You get a little mug. This is a little charge mug. Or saucer. And then set up your ember, get some instructions. It's also available in the app. You do have to plug in the uh, saucer here with the uh, wall warped or brick and then that is it that is all that's in the box guys still very nice packaging yeah this will make a great gift this is beautiful okay so here is the actual mug itself it's got a little uh, ember logo down there uh, FDA approved reinforced ceramic coating stainless steel core so you can rip that off and then like I said it's got the Hand wash only, so don't put this in the dishwasher. Also, do not microwave this, it says it right here. That would probably not be very good for this. Um, so there's two things, if you're interested. Good data to know. You gotta hand wash it, don't stick it in the dishwasher. Now you can get it wet, obviously. And then here's the charge saucer. So let's go ahead, and it says dry it well. Water can cause damage to the coaster, so dry your mug before placing it here. So that's another thing to, good to know. So don't get this wet. This isn't something you want to, to wash off with, like dip it in water. You can probably just get a paper towel and clean it off if you drip coffee in it or something. But uh, definitely don't get this wet, obviously. So there is, there you go. Look at that. Whoa. Beautiful. 
All right, so we're going to go ahead and launch the app. We're going to be right back. We've downloaded the app. We're going to get this plugged in, uh, get it configured, and maybe do a quick little demo. So we'll be right back. All right, guys, so welcome back. We've downloaded the app. It is just simply called Ember. This is on the iOS, and it says Meet Ember, and it's going to run you through the steps that you need to set this up. Uh, so we just go ahead and slide, and this is powered on. Let's turn your mug on, push the power button located at the bottom of the base. The LED does not power on. Hold the power button for seven seconds until it blinks. So let's go ahead and see, will this power on? We're holding it for seven seconds. I didn't see a power on when I did it. We see an LED? I don't see an LED. Let's try it again. One, two, three. There we go. There's an LED blinking. Okay. So now we powered it on. Let's go ahead. The ceramic mug only needs to be turned on once. Intuitive technology allows the mug to sleep when not in use and wake up as soon as you pick it up. Pair your mug. Press and hold the power button for five seconds until the LED D blinks blue. So let's go ahead and hold this for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. We have blue. Let's go ahead and pair. Found it. Look at that. Look how easy this is. Boom. Attempting to pair and connect. Maybe I didn't hope I didn't jinx it. Found. Let's go. Let's go. Pair. Connect. Unable to connect. I jinxed it. Let's try it again. Scroll back and try again. Okay. Scroll back. Pairing my mug. Boom. It does find it. So hopefully we can pair it. I'm able to connect. Scroll back and try again. Well, we're definitely blinking blue. This is what the mug's supposed to be, and it does say it's found. So maybe we'll just do it the conventional way outside of the app. Unable to connect. Okay. So let's go ahead and just see is this just putting out a Bluetooth signal? You know, this is why I do this, guys. Let's see. Do we see a mug? Is it still blinking? Still blinking. I'm not seeing anything show up Bluetooth wise down here. So this is an interesting I would assume I would have saw it in here. So let's go ahead, just kill the app. Boom. Let's relaunch the app. Oh, did we see some movement here? Nope. So let's go ahead and launch Ember. We're just gonna skip the tutorial here. I do have a ceramic mug. Let's just skip it. Connect your Ember. Pair a new device. Searching. Are we still blinking? Yep. We're still blinking blue. Found. We're ready to pair. Pair and connect. Now I'm plenty close to this. This should actually pair. So, you know, maybe the tutorial piece. Whoa, we're unable to connect to your Ember. Please try again. I might just reset the ember here real quick, guys. All right, so some technical difficulties. Like I said, I jinxed it. Let me pause the video, work on this. We'll come back with the resolution. If you have the same problem, this is worth watching. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, finally got it to work. Um, so it, uh, I don't know. I did two different things, okay? So if you run into problems, um, these are the two things you want to try, okay? First off, I actually charged it for a little bit. I, I plugged in the uh, tray, the saucer, <clears throat> and charged it for just a little bit, and I don't know if that did it. Um, I also rebooted my iPhone completely, um, because if you go look on the website, uh, it does say that um, uh, you do have to, uh, one, I had the latest version of the app, but uh, it did say that you, like, have to use the Bluetooth and give it some kind of authorization to do it. That authorization was never popping up um, for me. So after I rebooted my iPhone and then I went to connect to it, the authorization popped up and I was a allow and I was able to pair it right off. So if you run into pairing problems, one of those two solutions is going to help you. Try to charge it for a little bit and then maybe reboot your phone and I just powered it off and powered it back on. I tried also just starting to stop on Bluetooth services that didn't do it, took a complete 
reboot of the iPhone to finally get that authorization to say allow, boom, I paired. So now, as you can see here, it says personalize uh, since we're paired. It says select a color below to change your LED light. So if you wanted to change your LED light, you could. Um, it's obviously, like those little spinny wheels. So then I got green. As you can see here. So you can personalize it to whatever color you want. So let's go ahead and hit next. I'm just going to leave it at that and say done. <clears throat> so what's new? Version 2.0 introduces a device menu which can be accessed by swiping down. And more control, you can now pair and connect up to three Ember devices to your app. So there you go. And it says it's empty and it would be 130 degrees. Um, so once you fill it up, obviously, and I've got some kind of alert and mug update. So I have a mug update, so let's go ahead and update it. We'll be right back. We'll do a little demo and see where we go from there. And I do have a thermometer we're going to test. We'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so we did a firmware update on this guy. Didn't take too terribly long, like five to ten minutes. Go into the settings now, and as you can see, you can personalize, like I said, the color, the brightness, the battery level is recharged. It says it's 80%. Temperature unit, you can change it from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Uh, notifications you can turn on. It tells you your firmware and hardware versions and that the mug is up to date. Then we go over here and it does say that the mug is empty and that out of the box it will heat to 130 degrees. Uh, and you have a menu over here where you can create an account, show up to three devices, customer support, term service, yada yada yada. Follow them on Instagram all that good stuff and I am using app version 2.1.1 which at the current time is the most up-to-date version so what we're gonna do now let's just click this so you've got presets in here as you can see coffee is 130 tea is 132 and a latte is 126 those are the presets out of the box you can edit those or you can add them add extra presets there's the uh, check mark here but then we can say save a preset so say you want green tea and because green tea isn't always 132 degrees um, for the perfect green tea so you can come in here and put green tea or you can put black tea if you're a tea connoisseur or a coffee connoisseur you know I really see this more appealing to the tea connoisseurs for having these presets but uh, let's go ahead and pause the video I'm gonna fill this up put it on its charge saucer that we'll call it see if it recognizes that it's got some you know some liquid in it then also we're going to use a thermometer test the temperature see if it compares and maybe drop an ice cube in and see if it starts to heat it up you know fun tests why not this is a holiday gift you got to put it through the ringer we'll be right back all right guys welcome back so we've got some hot water in the mug and we're going to do a temperature real quick so i've got the thermostat here Let's go ahead and dip her in, see what she registers. She's already going up, going up, going up. Now this should fall short of 130. If my electric tea kettle is accurate, this should be somewhere before 130. It's slowing down, 122. Now remember, this mug out of the box sets it up and says, I'm going to heat your coffee or drink to 130. So we're slowing down. We're at 124. We're going to get any warmer. 124. Seems to be up. Oh, 125. Right, 126. 126. Come on. It's going twice. One, okay. We're about 124, 125. So we're going backwards. All right. So let's open the app. Let's see what the app says is going on with our Ember. So let's see here. Connect to it. All right. So 130 degrees. Your perfect temperature of 130 has been reached. Enjoy. Okay. Well, hmm. Don't know. The thermometer is saying it's not 130. So let's go ahead and just increase this up to 139 and let's see if it says it's going to heat. Okay, so it should give you a notification when it hits 139 degrees. We see a white solid LED. Now, I did want to go over some, I mentioned about like tea lovers rejoice. So like here's some steep times and actual temperatures of different teas. Green tea, about 175 uh, degrees. So green tea, you're going to want to go up there a lot. Flavored green tea, same thing. Uh, oolong tea is 195 and it just keeps on going up. Black tea, 195 to 205. Flavored black, 
uh, you know, all these different herbal teas, 208, that's the hottest one. Well, the Ru Rubios and the Mate tea looks like 208. They're all pretty hot. So if you want a tea guide, uh, I think this was off Lifehacker. Uh, so, you know, it's a nice little, uh, and there's white tea, flavored tea, flavored white tea. Anyway, so as you can see, there's different things. So the mug is supposedly heating. I did put it up to 139 and it does say it's now at 131. So it says it's going up. So let's go ahead, pause the video, let it get there. We'll stick the thermometer in and see if this goes higher than 124. Um, now it says it's at 132, so this may not take too terribly long. Now also notice, I don't have to have the saucer to, char uh, to heat. This has a built-in battery. It's at 80% when we last looked. So it's using that battery to heat the water in this mug without that saucer. And you're gonna use that saucer when this thing is depleted of its battery to recharge it. So you can take this to a meeting, put it on the table in there, and it's gonna to continue to uh, heat your coffee and keep it at that temperature that you want, or your tea, like I said, whatever. So very cool. So we're gonna pause this, we're gonna let it heat up, we're gonna do a quick little thermometer reading and go from there. All right guys, welcome back. Just for time's sake, I lowered it to 136. It did notify me. Your perfect temperature of 136 has been reached, enjoy. Uh, now, if, you wanna, if you're curious, this is, goes up to 145 on the scroll wheel, okay? So I think that's probably as hot as you're gonna heat it. So some of those teas that are up 200 and 175, the green teas, not gonna be able to achieve the green tea uh, where you really should have it at. Steeping it though, and then putting it in here and keeping it at a temperature that's comfortable to your mouth is definitely the way to go. So let's go ahead and see now. Remember we had 124 uh, on this guy. Let's just make sure this thing is actually heating. We should exceed 124, hopefully. And then um, now this says it's at 136. Now you're gonna have two different temperature gauges here, so it's just look. Which one do you trust? Do you trust the app? Do you trust the little food thermometer here? But it definitely has heated it. So you know we we're at 124. We're at 127 now. 128. So it is definitely heating the water. It does not seem like it's gonna to get to the 136 that the app thinks it's at. So you know which one is the most accurate? Hard to tell. But I did want to prove that it is heating. And there you see it's 129. So it is slowly getting there. I am in the middle and in the depths of the cup, so hopefully... So I'm seeing about a six degree temperature difference between this thermometer and what the app actually thinks the temperature is at. So anyway guys, you know, if this is something that you think somebody would like as a holiday gift or you want to pick one up for yourself, definitely pretty cool. Hopefully I've gone through this pretty extensively when it comes to troubleshooting the connectivity and basically all the cool stuff that it can do and keep your, your drink warm. You know, 145 is definitely hot enough. Uh, you know, I, I'd be good with that after I steep my tea or whatever and I put it in here, then I carry this around and keep my, my coffee and my tea at the same temperature that I like all the time until this thing needs a charge. So anyway guys, great gift for the holidays. Under $100, but right at $100. So with tax, you're probably going to pay a little over $100. But it is a definite go, definite gift for the coffee and the tea drinkers in your life. Put this under the tree for them for Christmas, holidays. It's going to be a hit. And it's a cool conversation piece, especially at work. Well, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And have a good one. And watch for more Top Tech for the Holiday videos coming right after this. See ya. Thank you.